Hey guys, this is Colby. Today I'm going to show you how to make the top half of the Phase 2 helmet that we were working on last time. We're going to use a Boolean modifier and a sphere and just cut out this shape here perfectly and without any shading errors in the end. So let's, let's get started. The first step is to go ahead and basically, if you haven't done the last time, just start creating this rim. So I stopped off right here, but all you're going to be doing is just extruding upward. Stopping here and then extruding inward, so just scale it out, scale it inward a little bit. So I can show that here in a second. So basically, just grab these edges, shift alt, and edge mode, select this top set of edges, press E to extrude, and press S, then Z, zero. So that way, can you get a perfect line straight? And press E to extrude, and then S, and then scale inward, so like pretty much right here. Try to make it even on all the sides. And before we get the sphere, let's just kind of even this out, make it round. So it's like these edges, shift alts, and just make these round. So let's go into edit mode on the helmets. Press shift alt on the set of edges. And then shift S to so set it cursor to select it down to the middle. Actually, what's better is to select these two edges here, these vertices, and then press shift S. So that way you can get the origin right in the center. So press go back into object mode, press shift A and sphere. Scale it up a bit. And you can scale it on the y-axis to match the y width. So move like right here and just match it to your reference. And go into front view and make sure it's also good. So pretty much the top half of the helmet is a perfect sphere. But basically you're going to have to cut out this little shape here. Which is pretty easy to do. A couple modifiers. So let's get started. So go ahead and go into edit mode on the sphere. And let's delete the bottom half. So press 3. And then press C to select this little bubble. And select all these faces. Just hold down left click and drag your mouse around. Once you have them all selected, go ahead and left click, I mean right click, and then press X and delete faces. So there we go. So once you have your rim kind of evened out around the sphere and not, you know, no, no gaps or anything, uh, go into your sphere, add a subdivision surface modifier, and I'm going to set it to 2. Shade it smooth, and press apply. And there we go. So now we can start cutting out a shape. And since we made it high poly, it's going to be a lot less likely to have any shading errors. So let's get started. All right, so now we can go into edit mode on the sphere. Press shift alt in edge mode and select this set of edges here. And this is going to be the top of the shape that we're about to cut out. And press C and deselect all these ones here. So press C and then hold down shift and left click. Or just hold down left click. There we go. So now it's basically on both sides. And let's press Shift D, Shift D, duplicates, and press P to separate by selection. Kind of hard to see, but it's there. So select your little edge thing and go into edit mode and scale it out a little bit. Move it back. And we're going to move it like right here. And we can go to back view and let's delete half of it so that way we can symmetrize the other side. So select this half and delete all vertices. And let's add a modifier. Go back to object mode and add a modifier, and that's it. Turn on clipping and everything. At this point, I'd recommend going, going ahead and duplicating everything you have so far to save your progress. Select our sphere, press Shift D to duplicate it, and you can move it somewhere else. So I've already moved it to the back, and this is pretty much all my progress so far. You're just basically saving checkpoints for yourself, so that way if you mess up, you can kind of go back. So we have this little rim here. All right, so go into edit mode on your rim, and scale it out a bit. You want it to be outside of the helmets, so that way we can have, add a solidify modifier later to add some thickness. And basically 
cut out shape from the sphere of the helmet. Scale it out. This will also make it easier to work with and easier to see everything we're doing. So now, go into edit mode. If you are if you aren't in edit mode and select everything, press A in edge mode and press E to extrude down. And left click, scout out a little bit. And let's add an edge loop right here. And scout out a tad bit to make it more round. That looks good. Grab the top one and kind of scale it down a tad bit. Not too much. So now let's go into this section here. Let's select these faces and I'm going to turn on proportional editing and move them to the side a little bit. Try not to mess up the roundness too much. That looks good. So now we need to match this curve with the shape that we have now. So let's go into edit mode and just move some of these vertices around. It's pretty high poly, so it's pretty easy to do already. So we already have a lot of edge loops that we can work with. But just move some of these down. And just match this curve. That's good. So now we are almost done with the shape. Uh, go ahead and apply your mirror modifier. But before we do that, I'd actually recommend adding a height subdivision. So that way you can just match the curve a little bit better. Make it a lot nicer looking. And let's go set it to two, press apply. Do this one first and then apply. And let's add a solidify modifier. Set the thickness and make it kind of inward a bit. You want it to be clipping through the helmets so that way you can cut out a shape. But it's pretty much stops right there, like 0 0.06, depending on how much uh, your, your piece is scaled outward a bit. Basically, you just want it, this inward piece to stop wherever the reference stops. So, pretty good shape. So, press apply. All right, go ahead and apply your solidify modifier once, you're happy, once it matches the reference. So it stops right here. Supply. Now we can add a Boolean modifier to the helmets. A Boolean, I mean. And set the object as the piece that we just created. Go to Solver Options and turn on Self Intersection. And just make sure it's on difference. Basically, what you want is to see this like cutout shape. From side view and front view. So that looks good. Press apply. And let's add an edge split modifier. Edge split. And press apply again. So now if you hide this piece, now you have a perfectly cut out shape from the helmets. No shading errors because it's very high poly. If you were to do this on a low poly thing, or helmets, uh, it might have some more problems, but since it's high poly, it kind of helped out a lot. That's it. So now, just go ahead and go to side view, and go to wireframe, and go to edit mode, and drag some of these vertices into position. And make sure you're selecting the one on the closest side to you, but also on the other side as well. So this one over here. That's why we're in wireframe mode, is that we that way we can select both edges or vertices from each side. And turn on proportional editing and just move things around into position. Also, one more thing uh, on this helmets. It actually cut out a shape, but left this bottom rim here. So if it the section here, the bottom is clipping through the helmet like this. Just move down a little bit. And make sure that the bottom of the helmet is covering it. So that way you have a nice line and there's no like weird pieces that stick out. And if this section here or this rim doesn't fully cover the pieces that overlap it, just scale inward a little bit. 
that. All right, so one more thing, and this will be pretty much the last thing for the end of the video. Uh, you can go ahead and add an edge split modifier to your helmets. And turn up the angle and get rid of some of these shedding problems. So let's say like maybe 37 is pretty good. Looks good. And don't apply it, don't apply it yet because uh, we can still work on this piece. We may need to work on it later. But for now, we're just going to keep this edge split modifier on and we can apply it later. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below, and I'll try to answer them. And if you could please consider donating to my Patreon and subscribing to my channel. It'd really help out a bunch, and it could allow me to do this more full-time. But anyways, next time we'll be working on the bottom section here of the teeth, or the gas mask. And later on, we'll do the attachments. That's, that'll be it, pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time.